Hello friends, this is Miss Ella. I'm happy to be here with you for another Harmony at Home lesson. We have already traveled to Europe and learned about two different periods in the history of classical music. And we have traveled to Ghana in Africa and to Argentina in South America. Today we will stay in the United States and we will learn a beautiful Native American song that comes from the Navajo people. Since their music is often accompanied by drums, we will even create a small drum that we can use while singing. Before we begin learning about Navajo life and culture, let's start with our weekly game. Last week we learned the pattern using the notes we already know. Do you remember it? Did you practice it a bit in the last week? If you didn't, you will get the chance to practice it today. If you recall, we were going up and down with our notes, adding one note at a time to our pattern. Let's sing it together. If you don't remember, just listen once. Do, this is the first note. Ready? Do, do, re, do, do, re, mi, re, do, do, re, mi, fa, mi, re, do, do, re, mi, fa, so, fa, mi, re, do, do, re, mi, fa, so, la, so, fa, mi, re, do, do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, la, so, fa, mi, re, do, do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do, ti, la, so, fa, mi, re, do. Let's sing it again so I can be sure you know it before we go any further. Ready? Do and Do do re do do re mi re do do re mi fa mi re do do re mi fa so fa mi re do do re mi fa so la so fa mi re do do re mi fa so la ti la so fa mi re do do re mi fa so la ti do ti la so fa mi re do. Now that you know the notes and you understand the pattern, we are going to clap the mi instead of singing it. That means that we are not allowed to sing the note mi out loud. You should still sing it in your head as you clap or else you might get lost. Let me show you how we do it. I will do it slowly. Do, do, re, do, do, re, re, do. Did you see what I just did? When I got to the note mi, I clapped instead of singing. Let's do it together. We will do it slowly. Do, ready? Do, do, re, do, do, re, re, do. Did you understand how it works? We stopped after me, but we still need to go up and finish our pattern. So let's do it again, but this time we will stop after so. Ready? Do, and. Do, do, re, do, do, re, re, do, do, re, fa, re, do, do, re, fa, so, fa, re, do. Was it hard? You need to stay focused. This is not easy, but you can practice it during this week. Now, let's do it again, but this time we will go up to the highest do. Ready? Do, and. Do, do, re, do, do, re, re, do, do, re, fa, re, do, do, re, fa, so, fa, re, do, do, re, fa, so, la, so, fa, re, do, do, re, fa, so, la, ti, la, so, fa, re, do, do, re, How was it? Did you sing the whole pattern? Did you clap on me? Even if you did just part of it, that's great. This is a challenging game, but you already know that practicing will make it better. So you can practice this week and you will be ready for our game next week. Now let's learn about the Navajo people. Native 
Americans are the first people who lived here for thousands of years before the Europeans came to America. The Navajo are one of the largest Native American tribes in the United States. Their traditional territory covered Arizona, New Mexico, Utah, and Colorado, where most of them still live today. In the past, the Navajo were organized in small groups, with each group led by its own chief. The Navajo people speak English today, but some of them also speak the native Navajo language, which is a complex language with many different vowel sounds. Hello in the Navajo language is pronounced ya te. Say it with me, ya te. In the past, the Navajo people lived in hogans, which are traditional earth houses. These solid houses protected people and kept them safe from the wind and bad weather. Today, most Navajo people live in modern houses and apartment buildings, just like you. However, hogans are still built and used for religious and cultural purposes, and some older Navajos prefer to live in these traditional homes. The Navajo people have always felt very connected to the land, feeling a responsibility for maintaining harmony with Mother Earth. Traditionally, they were farmers, and that is also the origin of their name. Navajo means field people. They grew mostly corn, beans, and squash. The Navajo are well-known artisans who are masters of weaving colorful rugs and blankets. Some are so beautiful that they are housed in museums as works of art. What about Navajo music? Their music is mostly vocal and it is frequently accompanied by different percussion instruments. For the Navajo and other Native American people, music is a way of communicating with the supernatural to seek good fortune and security. There are songs for the making of rain, songs for success in fishing, songs for the protection of the home, the curing of the sick, love songs, and more. Let's listen to a short example of a Navajo blessing song. Today we will learn a Navajo song together and we will create a percussion instrument to accompany ourselves while singing. The name of the song is Hayo Ipsi Naya and it has two different vocal parts. So we will start by learning the lyrics and then I will teach you the different parts. Like in our Argentinian song, I'm sure you all remember, you will be able to decide which part you want to sing once you learn both of them. After learning the different parts, we will make our percussion instrument and we'll take a look at the rhythm we will be playing on it. As you can see, we have a lot of things to do, so let's start. As I told you in the beginning of our lesson, the language spoken by the Navajo people is very complicated. So in this song, we will sing a real Navajo melody and use simple syllables instead of words. Through the song, you will hear the sounds Hayo Ipsi Naya. So let's say them together. Hayo Ipsi Naya. Again, Hayo Ipsi Naya. Now that you know those sounds, let's concentrate on the rhythm. Listen first, pay attention to the rhythm of the sounds and repeat after me. Ha yo, 
Hayo ipsi naya. Hayo, hayo ipsi naya. Now let's say the rhythm and clap it at the same time. Do it with me. Ready? And hayo, hayo ipsi naya. Now let's clap it without saying anything. I need you to focus on the rhythm you're clapping. Ready? And Can you write this rhythm? As we did with Mozart's first symphony a couple of weeks ago, here are the notes we need to write this rhythm. Our beat will be the quarter note. And here is the beat. Let's clap the first two notes in our rhythm. Ready? One, two, three, four. What are these notes? Are they quarter notes or eighth notes? Since their length is equal to the beat, and I already told you that our beat is the quarter note, we know that these two first notes are quarter notes. Let's clap it again and try to figure out what are the next four notes in our rhythm. Ready? One, two, three, four. What are those short notes? They are four eighth notes, right? Let's add them to the rhythm. And as you can see, we have two quarter notes that we need to add at the end. Now let's clap the whole rhythm one last time before we learn our new song. Ready? One, two, three, four. Very good! Now we are ready to learn the first voice of the Nabako song. I will sing a phrase and you will repeat after me. Since it's a short song, we will repeat it. So let's sing it twice from the beginning to the end. Sing it with me. Mm, first note. Ready? good. Now let's learn the second voice. The second voice is a bit more challenging and I would like us to explore the rhythm of the first phrase as well. Here are the notes we will use for this rhythm. Let me say the sounds and clap the rhythm. You can try to figure out the order of the notes for this rhythm. Listen carefully, the beginning is tricky. One, two, three, four. Hayo, hayo, ipsi, na, ya. Let me do it again. It's not easy. 
One, two, three, four. Hayo, hayo, ipsi naya. So, do you know how this rhythm starts? What is the first note we will use to write this rhythm? Did you see me doing on the first beat? If you did, you already know that the first note is a quarter rest. What next? I will clap the rhythm again. You can clap it with me or you can listen and try to figure out which notes we are going to use next. One, two, three, four. As you could hear, there were many short notes one after the other. Those are the eight notes you can see on the screen. We will put them after the quarter rest. And we will add the quarter note at the end of our rhythm. So now our first phrase is ready. Let's clap it one last time to see if we wrote it correctly. One, two, three, four. Since the second voice starts with a quarter rest, we already know that this voice will start one beat after the first voice. Now let's learn the second voice. I will sing a phrase and you can repeat after me. Hayo, hayo, ipsi naya. Hayo, hayo, ipsi naya. Hayo, hayo, ipsi naya. Hayo, hayo, ipsi naya. Hayo, hayo, hayo. Hayo, hayo, hayo. Hayo, hayo, hayo. Hayo, hayo, hayo. Hayo, hayo. Hayo, hayo. Of course, the second voice will be repeated as well. So let's sing it twice from the beginning to the end. Don't forget the rest at the beginning of each phrase. Ready? Mm, this is the first note. One, two, three, four. Ayo, ayo, ipsi na ayo. Ayo, ayo, ipsi na ayo. Ayo, ayo. We are ready to prepare our percussion instrument. What you will need for that is a cup, a balloon, a pencil or a pen, scissors and tape. If you don't have those, you can also use a ball as a percussion instrument. That's totally fine. So you can pause this video and bring what you need in order to prepare the instrument. I will be waiting for you. Are you ready? First of all, we need to cut the edge of the balloon like this. And we will put it on the cup. Like this. And we will tape it here so it won't move while we play with it. If your cup is small, the sound of your instrument will be softer. And if your cup is large, like mine, 
your, the sound of your instrument will be stronger. So you can pause this video again and take your time to prepare your instrument. I will be here with my instrument waiting for you to show you how we can play with it. Now your instrument is ready. So how do we play with it? Well, you can tap it here with your hand or you can use a pencil. That's the way I'm going to use my instrument. And the cool thing about this technique is that you can create different sounds by changing the place where you tap. So for example, this is one sound, this is a different one, and another one. So you see, it's as if you have more than one instrument in your hands. If you're using the ball, it's the same thing. You can use your hand or you can use the pencil and then change the sound, create different sounds by changing the place where you tap. Here is one sound and here is another one. So now the question is, what rhythm are we going to play on our new instrument? Well, this time I would like you to figure it out. This is the rhythm we're going to play on our instruments. As you can see, there are only quarter notes and eight notes. Let's put aside our instruments and say the rhythm. We will say ta for the quarter notes and ti ti for the eight notes. This is the beat for the rhythm. Let's say it together. Ready and ta ti ti ta ti ti ta ta. Let's say it again. Ta ti ti ta ti ti ta ta. Very good. Now let's clap the rhythm. Ready? Ready and one more time and Now that you know the rhythm, let's pick up our instruments and play it. As I showed you before, there are many ways to play this rhythm on your instrument. So pick the one you prefer and try to be very precise. Let's do it together. Ready? Ready and... Let's do it again. And... Did you do it right? This rhythm will be repeated through the whole song. There is something that might help you, and that's playing the first quarter note in a different way on your instrument. So you will know each time when the rhythm starts again. For example, I can play this rhythm this way. Choose the best way to do that on your instrument and let's play this rhythm three times in a row. Don't forget to play the first quarter note differently. Ready? And... Now I think we are ready to sing the song and play the rhythm at the same time. Before we start singing, we will play this rhythm once, so we can feel the beat before starting to sing. The rhythm will be on the screen during the whole song, so you can always take a look if you don't remember it. Don't forget to sing the song twice. I will be singing both voices. You just need to choose one for yourself. You can also sing one voice the first time and the other voice the second time. It's up to you. Ready?
we learned a little bit about the Navajo people and about their music. And you learned how to read notes, sing, and play an instrument, all at the same time. I'm really proud of you. I hope you will take some time this week to share this new song with your family and maybe even teach them one of the vocal parts or the rhythm we learned. Music is always better when we can share it. I will see you next week for a new lesson about one of the first women composers in the history of music. Until then, make it a musical week.